okay guys so in the last lecture we saw some unification now we'll be seeing some nodes on the same okay so let's get started so saponification and some notes on it so basically saponification is just the hydrolysis of ester in basic medium okay and then we'll see that acidification does not take place in the basic medium because weak nucleophile alcohol will not react with Elect weak electrophile carboxylic carboxylate ion. So if you remember from the previous lecture that we have something like this as the end product or the major product after the saponification took place. So we are just saying that now esterification will not take place because this is a uh, very stable carboxylate ion and if it's very stable then it would be obviously very weak electrophile as well. So we are just saying that esterification does not take place in basic medium because nucleophile alcohol nucleophilic rather will not react with weak electrophile so in our case carboxylate ion this is carboxylate ion ok Now actually also we have also discussed this in some of the examples in the previous lecture but let's formalize it and write a different topic. So what is trans esterification? Just for the sake of you guys so that you can come back and revise uh, again the topic wise okay after revisiting the videos. So it is nothing but conversion of one ester into another ester okay this is known as trans esterification and now let's move on to bayer wilger oxidation bayer wilger okay so we have a ketone group and this ketone group on reaction with CH3CO3H or you can have H2O2 or you can have CF3CO3H okay so what will happen is we will get something like this compound and in which this oxygen atom is introduced hence this is called oxidation okay plus obviously you'll be getting acetic acid so what actually happened in this reaction is if you see the structure of CH3CO3H you will get that this is the structure of CH3CO3H what will happen is this will actually attack on this uh, electrophile and as a result what will happen is we will get something like I'm showing the uh, intermediary steps so we'll be getting O minus R dash and O plus here C double bond O R and OH here so what actually happened ha happen next is this again forms double bond with this and whichever has the ma more magnetic aptitude in this case will actually move towards the O plus and form a aromatic intermediate three member ring okay I am supposing R dash magnetic aptitude is more than R's magnetic aptitude 
okay it's just for the example sake okay and now what will happen is this will break the bond the oxygen atom will take away its electron from this uh, this uh, bond and o minus will take away its electron from this and internally o minus will be reacting on c plus okay so we'll be getting something like this as the final product formed o r dash plus obviously you will get so this is cs3 only this is cs3 only this is not our further cs3 okay so we'll get cs3 c double bond o oh okay so this is the final product formed okay so let's let's also see the next example c double bond o cs3 and again we are passing RCO3H. So what will product form? Obviously, this has more magnetic aptitude than this. We have seen the order in some past set of organic chemistry lectures. Okay, so what will happen is uh, O will be getting attached between carbon atom and the phenyl ring. So we'll get finally the product as CO3H. Okay, let's take another example wherein we have. this and again we are reacting it with RCO3H okay so which has more magnetic aptitude uh, this carbon or this carbon obviously this carbon because it is substituted with the methyl group also so methyl group will have a plus I effect which will be stabilizing stabilizing the three member thing which is formed as an intermediate in the reaction okay so this between this and this will be getting This will be the product formed. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven number ring will be formed. Okay. So let's see some interesting problem in this line. This is a good one. So we have something like this. Okay. On reaction with CH2 N2, what will be the product formed? Product form would be something like this okay so how does it take place obviously the same mechanism goes we have if you see that it is CH2 and plus and negative N so what actually happens is this electrophile this nucleophile attacks on this electrophile and as a result we'll be getting something like O minus here and CS3 here CH2 attached here and plus and N minus here so what will what 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 will happen next in this reaction is uh, Uh, again O minus would be bringing its double bond with the carbon atom or its minus charge into the bond electrons and as you know that pH has more magnetic aptitude than CS3 this group would be moving and attaching to this ca this carbon atom and as a result and also this is also a major force that N2 gas would be released N2 gas doesn't care about the the compound which is leaving it, it is just has to leave because it's an inert, inert gas okay so as uh, as a consequence that N2 gas will be leaving this carbon would be getting a partial positive charge and as a result pH will decide to migrate to this carbon atom okay so we'll be getting something like pH CH2 C double bond O CS3 as our major product so in summary you can just remember that in case of CH2 NH2 just just attach CH2 to the between the carbon atom and C double bond which has more magnetic aptitude or between the R group and the carbon atom which has more magnetic aptitude okay so with this we come to an end of this lecture in the next lecture we'll be seeing stereochemistry of esterification so till then good luck and good bye